Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm NK and today I want to first and foremost letting you guys know this is my very first YouTube video on this account, like my official one, aside from my intro. <clears throat> and I wanted to first take a step back and really talk through from the beginning how I went from corporate to being a full-time blogger. So that journey is honestly such a long journey and it's a journey that I, <laughs> that took me so, so long to get where I am right now, but it's simply because I was simply just afraid of taking that leap of faith. I, uh, I had worked in uh, corporate accounting in the audit department for three and a half years. And that was a lot, to be quite honest. I started in 2017 and I learned very quickly that this is not the place that I want to stay. However, I grinded, I kept my head down and I worked and worked and worked simply because my peers were. The people who I went to school with, who were in my accounting classes, we all did that. Also taking a step back, in college, I declared my major as accounting literally the very first week of freshman year, which honestly is very rare and not super common, so I definitely was an outlier there, but I was super just like, determined to be an accounting major and continue on this path all four years, didn't change my major, did all the hard accounting classes, did all the work, did all the internships. And I learned that I felt more so that I was doing this to please others, like please my family, please my teachers, please my peers who were in my classes rather than what does NK really want? Um, I fell back on the notion of well, you're good at it, so why not continue? And on that note, yes, I was good at it. It came really easy to me, math, computation, numbers, all of that is my strong suit in ways that most people aren't well-versed in it. That's something that I loved and I gravitated to all throughout school. So I decided to just go in the path that was more stable and the one that made most sense based on what I was already good at. So in hindsight, yes, I could have spent more time figuring out my creative passions and figuring out how that would work for me, but I didn't. So my journey became me working at an accounting firm for three and a half years post-grad and that came to a head during the pandemic. And I wanted to leave my corporate job before the pandemic even started. But again, it all came down to me not taking that leap of faith, being honestly very scared of taking that leap of faith because I was like, well, I don't know if I can do this. I've never not had a job. I've always been able to support myself the security and the stability, all of that comes with being in corporate. And I, and I became comfortable. I became stagnant. I wasn't growing anymore at the firm. I wasn't really learning new things. I wasn't really being challenged in the ways that I felt like, hmm, you know, if I'm at a job, I should be, you know, accelerating. And the work itself, I was, it was mundane and it wasn't exciting for me. And that all played a part in why I wanted to, to leave. In January 2021 is when I said, okay, I am going to leave my job in May. So giving myself five months, which is a decent amount of time. That's a lot more than a lot of people give themselves. And then March 2021 came along. As we know, that rocked the whole world and a lot of things were up in the air, unpredictable, unsettling, and also not secure. So 
this is the one thing in my life that was secure being under this corporate umbrella that I said as much as I know that I, I need to leave for my own reasons, I sh should stay <laughs> because at the end of the day, I'm thankful for the opportunities and the job itself that that company gave me because it allowed me to pay my rent, pay for my bills, just being able to live in a city like this. Like I do owe all of that to that company at that time. So I just want to make that clear. And so now we're in the pandemic and we're working and it was hard enough working at a company like that in a job like that, I should say, because corporate accounting really, no matter where you go, it is taxing and it is stressful, long hours, mundane, but now we're putting it in the pandemic and the pandemic was uncomfortable. I mean, let's be honest. It was uncomfortable. People didn't know how to act, what to do. Stir crazy was a big thing. I get very stir crazy. I was very stir crazy. And I just really needed a place that I felt comfortable enough to be to myself and to feel like this job is not draining me. It is, you know, it should feel like an asset, not like I'm being drained. So all of that is to say I very much so, very quickly in the pandemic, felt that more, more and more unhappy as the days went. And, <clears throat> but I stayed, I kept my head down. And from March to October of 2021 is when I stayed there. But let's go back in time, let's say a month into the pandemic. So now we're in April, is when I launched my blog. And that was something that I wanted to do for myself so, so badly. I've wanted to do it for a long time. I'm a writer. I love writing. Writing is my true creative outlet. Ways that I can express myself in writing way more than I can express myself in person, speaking. It is how I truly communicate best and how I truly share my heart. And I have been writing ever since I was a kid. So I knew that in the pandemic, we don't know when this thing is going to end. It's March 2021. I need to figure out how I'm going to keep myself together and have a creative outlet in the midst of working in corporate in a pandemic. So I went on Google and I learned and I searched and I researched about how to start a blog. And let me tell you, that was hard. I learned so many things. I learned about web design. I learned how to code a little bit. I learned about SEO. I learned so many things about what a blog entails and how to really put it together correctly. But then once you put it together, how to steadily grow its traffic. And I think all of those skills are just so invaluable for literally anyone who wants to be in that field. And keep in mind, I started that blog just for myself, really. It was, I called it a digital diary, a labor of love, something that I could look back on and it is there and it is like a piece in time. And that's what it was for the first few months. And then now we're in June of 2021. So a few months after my blog went live in April, 2021. And then in 20, in June of 2021, I wrote a very, very personal blog post. Keep in mind the very, the first few months of my blog being live, my first probably three or four or five blog posts were pretty, pretty personal. I talked about therapy. I talked about my home life. I talked about like really personal things and I was completely fine with it because I, like I said, I'm a writer and that's how I just communicate best. But this one was personal in a different way because in June of 2021, that's when the height of the 
racial unrest was happening in the U.S. and really around the world. And that's also when George Floyd and Breonna Taylor, those monumental cases were at their peak. And I, as a black woman, was very, 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 very personally affected by these stories and took the time to write about them using my own personal experiences. So I titled the blog post, my account on being a black woman in America. And like I said, the blog post was super personal, real accounts of things that happened to me in my life that I felt less than scared, victimized. And I wrote it with all my heart. And still to this day, it's been over a year since I've had my blog. That is the blog post I am most proud of. And I put it out there. I think it was June 4th. I'm big on dates. So June 4th, I believe, of 2021 is when I posted it. Or June 3rd, I think. And I was not ready or expecting what happened after that. Because what happened after that is people were sharing it like crazy. It was spreading like a wildfire. I believe to date, it probably has almost a million views, which is so exciting and so overwhelming. And, and I was just so taken aback by it. Um, news agencies and brands started reaching out to me based on it. People on LinkedIn messaging me, these companies, all of my peers, family, everyone had seen this thing, had shared it, shared it. It just shared like crazy. And it was exciting. And I was like, huh, okay, I think I did something here. I think I did something really important here that I honestly can take with me no matter where I go. Like I said, it was for me. It, it's about me. It's for me. I wrote it for myself. But also, I know it resonated with so many people and so many people kind of got a little like taste of who I am, what I've been through, through it, which I think that was the most beautiful part of it. And after that, it was kind of this upward trajectory of growth with my social media, my blog, but also learning that I can be more than an accountant in corporate America. I believe that I have something special that I can share with the world and it's not, it doesn't have to be limited to just working a nine to five. There's nothing wrong with a nine to five and also a nine to five shaped me, grew me, matured me. I learned so, so, so much that I do not regret. I respect everything that I've been through based on those experiences at the, the company and it has molded me to who I am. So definitely want to mention that. But after this, that summer of 2020, of uh, then starting to have brands reach out, news agencies reach out. I learned that I can definitely do this, but it's going to take a lot of work. So along with the blog that I was writing pretty consistently, tried to write a blog post once a week. Along with that, I started to really focus on my Instagram, fo focused on social media in general, Pinterest, really driving traffic to my socials and also making myself seen, like actually putting myself in front of brands because at the end of the day, I've always wanted to do that. I've always wanted to be a writer, but also be a brand partner, but also have my own business. So there's so many facets of like what I want to do in this life that I want to create for myself. And I know now a year and a half later, um, from the beginning of the pandemic is that all I had to do was take the leap of faith. I know that sounds cliche, but I truly believe that because then 
let's see, now we're close to October 2021 and it is when I do part ways with the company and honestly the last three months of the year of 2020 were the scariest years, or the scariest months of the year of my life because like I said earlier, I've always had a job, I've always been secure, I've always been under the corporate umbrella, yada yada, but I, I took that leap of faith I parted ways and I honestly know that made me stronger than ever. Not having an income for three months was hard because, you know, I wasn't in corporate and I'm still learning and growing in this new space of being a blogger, being a content creator. And everything started to click in January of 2021. January 2021 is when I got my first news agency contract. So that was super exciting because then I was able to start writing for them. And the best part about it is that they gave me free reign to write the content that I would write with, you know, a little bit of direction of like a little bit of prompt, but it was pretty general. So I really wrote the things that I would write on my blog. So it was nice because it's in my words. So then I can also use that on my blog as well. So I'm increasing traffic. I'm being consistent, but then I'm also getting paid, um, a lot more from the agency. And then that was in January of 2021. So I wrote for them for four to five months. I think I stopped writing for them in June or May of 2021. And then, gosh, and then now we are in summer of 2021. In summer 2021, things started to pop off. I was getting a lot of brand deals, which is so exciting. Started with gifting at the beginning of 2021. And then I was getting a lot of paid brand deals and collaborations through my Instagram and even through my blog, like I wrote a lot of sponsored blog posts, which is honestly so exciting. And it showed me, NK, you can totally do this. You just need to trust yourself. You just need to believe in yourself. There's been just a lot of ebbs and flow in this journey. And I'm just really thankful that I did stick with it and I'm still sticking with it now. And the consistency part is the biggest thing that I can totally speak to more in another video. But yeah, I also, I did not mention, but in the beginning of 2021, I also set out to create my own business. So I have two, one is a lash business. So I create and manufacture removable lashes. And so I launched that in February, 2021 and I have an Etsy shop as well. And then I have always wanted my own clothing line because I love fashion and I s launched that in April of 2021. So 2021 has been a huge year of growth. And it's interesting because right now I just feel like I'm on the precipice of con more growth, like way, way more growth because I know exactly what I want and I know the methods to get there. And now I know how consistent I need to be to get there. So that is what a year and a half summed up in however long this video is. But I urge anyone who is thinking about making that leap, do it. It's interesting because I've heard a lot of different opinions about, well, you know, some people don't have the luxury and some people don't have this, this, and this. And that is completely true and honest. And I agree with that. I saved up a bunch to make sure that I was able to afford my life but also work on this to get to where I wanna be. So definitely, yes, leap of faith is what you should do, but also, you know, leap with caution and definitely have a safety net. That's, I think, the biggest thing I would say, but don't think that anything is unattainable or out of your reach, because I think if I believed in what I just said right now, even a year earlier, I would have been a lot further along, but I also don't want to think about it like that. Everything happens for a reason and everything happens when it does for a reason. And there's just been so many revelations and so many growth points that 
and so many people who I've, I've been connected with just solely in 2021 that have propelled me even further in my career and what I want to do that I would not have come like a year late, a year before that. And so for that, I'm thankful. And so that is the complete story of how I went from corporate to being a full-time blogger and content creator. And if you guys have any questions about that, I am planning on making a lot more videos in that realm because I know like this is a topic that I actually get comments about this on my TikTok and Instagram all the time and in person when I tell people what I do and I think I have a lot to share and I've done a lot of research too so I think I'm pretty well versed on this topic and can be of help to anyone who needs it. So thank you guys for watching this video. Like I said, the first of many. I'm super excited to just like get back into this because I absolutely love YouTube. I've been watching it since I was like 11. So it's been a long time coming. But thank you guys for joining this video, staying and watching, and I will see you in my next one.